This is the Board of Health meeting, hybrid meeting being recorded Thursday, July 21st, 2022 at 6 p.m. Present is Sue Braska. Mackenzie Kane. Uh, Alex White. It's Gerald. And our secretary, Cindy Barton. Um, all we have is Peter. Peter, you have anything you want to say? Not this time, thank you. Okay, so there's no other public record. So therefore, let's look at the minutes from July 7th. Well. Bless you. There's a cough, but thank you. Oh, sorry. Alex at Millie's country store was a reinspection, right? Do you want to get that? Yeah. Sure. yeah. Hey, in the month of June, there's 57 total COVID cases, COVID-19 cases, but it comes up to 62. What do you mean? Well, when you do the 32 females, 25 males. Oh, okay. And then it's five 32 were, and then plus five 25. Were under the age of 18. Right. Five of those being here. Okay. And there's probably more cases than that. For sure. Oh, absolutely. This is only just re yep. reported. Yep. The next sentence gets a little weird. What gets a little weird? Regarding July 1st through 8th, there were five cases of COVID. Give it a comma. Oh, COVID-19. Okay. Comma. A 17-year-old and Four vaccine. Okay, okay, okay. A seventeen-year-old and four vaccinated. Um. <clears throat> the monkeypox thing. Did you revoked? Revoked. Okay. Syphilis. Right. Confirmed. Not a problem. This with patient. Do you want to put in here late missing applications for businesses? I don't think there are any anymore. No, no, for last week there was. Dunkin' Donuts that we know of. I think that was it. On that the was list. the one from last, just to have record. Yeah. Yeah, have it in there. So that next year. I think I put down the minutes for this time. Dunkin' Donuts without a valid 2022 right. permit. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> and the results of the beach testing for South Pond Project for South Pond Beach. Mm -hmm. The test results. The, so did it on Tuesday, and the results came back from Battle Labs. No, no, last one, last meeting, July seventh. Yeah, that was ninety three uh, col colonies per. Yeah, to put those to, to put that in the minutes. You so want you, you want the results? Yeah, put the results in the minutes. So we so people who read it will have it and we'll have it to go back and okay. if we wanted to go back and check. Sure. So um you want me to always put that like right after where it says the testing is done? Yes, yeah, so a beach test in South Pond South Pond Beach. I'll put that there. That 
Um, I'll put it in the minutes and stuff like so that. So the proposed subdivision for 686 College Highway was viewed. Yeah, and no, no evaluation needed at this time, right? At that time. What about the COVID-19 testing DEP? Uh, what about it? the one um, that had nothing on it. Oh, right. Yes, yes. yes. What, um, what about the COVID test from DEP? DEP? DPH? Yeah. DPH? Yeah. Uh, that's the at home antigen test. You may want to put something, you know, explain a little thing, Cindy, what that's all about. And the alternate board member was um, what was going on there where we. Did we have any word on minutes for the um, elected member? I think I think um, Sue she does mention about the COVID test afterwards. Yeah, there's a section. Oh. So it's it's, the board discussed the distribution of COVID tests. Yeah. So just you know, just put it all together where it goes. Right, right, yeah. And then the update on the shared nursing grant is put that together where it goes. Yeah, like we don't have to separate it or anything like yeah. that. And then the alternate board member was. Um, this is where we talked about um which wasn't necessary because uh, it's getting filled with the vacancy. i don't know but didn't we talk about that our elected member um declined the position and so the selectmen um put yes, out a notice did. if anybody wanted to be appointed until the next yep. election and um we were going to check with the selectmen to see Yes. When we would meet with them. Yes, yeah, so the board discussed when the candidate would be able to be appointed. Yeah. Uh, to the so I just put board. all that together. Put all that together in one. How do you spell? Um, I'll ask that. Who's the one? I forgot the woman. What was her name? Jessica Rodriga. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We, we don't even have to put her name in there. We can just say that we have elected candidate. Okay. The elected candidate. Decline the position. And 80 Bungalow Road, what was the issue on 80 Bungalow Road? Do you remember, Sandy? No, that, that was... Um... We need to talk about that last, did we? Last? It's on there, Did we the, talk about that last? I night? took the agenda and put it on to my minutes. So I didn't miss any of the things. Yeah, but I don't think we talked about that, did we? I don't know. I don't remember it. Um, yeah, that one was a situation where, yeah, you guys saw the inspection report. With the can the milk things, yes. the milk. Yeah, oh, okay. that was a while though, wasn't it? Yeah. But that yeah. was um, oh, that the one you went in that was, the house. Was, that was June, right? June second or something. I don't know. I huh. have no idea when it was. But I saw the pictures of the milk. Oh, because I wanted to follow up on it because I didn't. The phone was not active, and I was trying to reach out to follow up to make sure everything was okay. But I never heard uh, back, and I was working with Cindy Sullivan as well about that that's right yeah, yeah but i don't did. think we talked about that last time yeah. so no. well mckinsey knew about it right it was a couple meetings ago yeah. he showed yeah. us pictures the lady's yeah. walking around with a cane she's got about ten thousand gallons of milk <laughs> that's right yeah so <laughs> so, yeah. Cindy, you can so just we'll just remove that, that. Right that was a while yeah. is about so that if we ever have to go back to the minutes yeah it'll refresh our better. memory rather yeah. than just say yeah yeah 80 below road so we'll know what the story was. It's that smell of jugs. You said that? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I, I think it was more than that. <laughs> yeah, I think yes, so too. There was. <laughs> In fact, that, you that commented was, about the. Jog our memory for you, sure. you commented on other um, containers too, empty ones. Yes. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yes. Anyways.
for the shared service nursing grant. Alex White will do the reporting. Yeah, the quarterly reports. Yeah. We'll do the quarterly reports. I'll make a note there. We'll about to send the yeah. quarterly. We'll do the quarterly report. Return the remaining amount from the grant. And then we'll receive another check. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The Yeah, I'll update that. That's what we want over there. Okay. Any questions then? Got it. Um with the public health excellence, that's Tall and Granville, Blanford, and Russell and Mount Cumber. Yeah. I thought you said only three of them were interested. Yeah, at that time, but at that time, that he had really had how many people got that? But it doesn't say that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I only listed the three that you said that were interested. You can just reword it that as of that meeting, only those three yeah. towns were replied. Reword it that way. Yeah. And you had, and you did not hear from the other. Right. Towns. Yeah. The next meeting, June 21st, is not correct. That would have been July. Oh, July. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll update that. And you're going to do that, honey? Mm -hmm. You're going to do that, honey? Yeah, yeah, and then I'll just. Go ahead. Thanks for the. I, I was just going to send it, you know, send it back. I got a question. I, I wasn't at this meeting, um, but second, the paragraph right below that one about the towns, Alex White and towns, which I attend the DPH meeting, and the, the very last sentence, next sentence, last sentence. Yeah, that's not DPH. Based on it doing a capacity assessment comparing South to other towns' populations. That's the academic public health board. In, in different business activities, is that? I, I is don't. That, I don't know what that means. Uh, different business activities. I don't know. Um, and that wasn't a DPH meeting. That was uh, academic public health. Yeah, right. That's what with uh, Parker Sweet health. and um, Sarah and uh, yeah, yeah. Um, comparing other towns' population, public health activities. Yeah, it's in other, yeah. Hey, Cindy, are we supposed to be, um, we're supposed to be signing the minutes. Have we signed all the minutes up to date? The book is right here, but I don't think any of the other boards have Yeah, I don't, think that, I don't think that's actually required. We're the only we do, ones. we've been doing it for years. So yeah. I don't think that's required. All right, because Cindy did have us go back and sign a bunch of. Nice. Okay, so do we want to. Um, Just wait a minute, did you talk about 664 College Highway? Tom, yeah. I don't think he was there. Oh, good. Okay. He wasn't at that. Yeah. So, oh, right here. That's what you're asking. Yeah. Oh. So, are you going to move, move things yeah. around and put them together where they go, or yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll just make the edits, and then I'll just CC you and and. You. So. Do we want to accept the minutes of the corrections or do we want to wait to the next meeting? Accept the minutes. I'm going to accept them with the corrections. Okay, yeah. I second that motion. Great. All in favor? Mackenzie King, yes. Okay. yes. Thank you, sir. Health Director's report.
Um, hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Update on COVID numbers. Um, not that many are being reported at this time through Maven. Um, um, yeah, but I know that it's got to be circulating out there with the latest uh, variant out there, sub variants and whatnot. So people are just doing that home COVID tests and not really reporting it and hopefully finding the following the DPH guidelines about you know quarantine and isolation. Uh, but we have the antigen tests right here in the lobby in the uh, by the treasurer's and uh, collector's clerk's office. And I just dropped off another 90 for the public library as well. Uh, to pick up the at-home antigen tests as well. Uh, in fact, the state actually um, thinks that that is a better uh, tool right now than doing a PCR uh, because the antigen is looking at the viral load. Excuse me. Is looking at the viral load uh, concentration amount. Uh, and so if you're testing negative with the antigen, uh, most likely you're not going to be transmitting that according to DPH. Um, and that the PCR is looking at the polymerase chain reaction, which is looking at the at the molecular level. So greater sensitivity and specificity. So it's going to be a greater detection as a gold standard, if you will. Uh, and even if you test positive, and you're not taking any fever reducing medication and you completed your isolation period, I'd say 10, uh, 10 days, um, you will most likely still test positive up to 90 days, the research yeah, shows. So, so the antigen at home COVID tests are the preferred right now, um, just given that. Yes. Especially if you do a follow-up. Yeah, in other words, if you, get, if you get a positive, just double check it, do it again. Yeah. Yeah. So if you still have the antigen, are you still contagious? So if you take the antigen test and you test positive with it, you can continue to keep testing yourself until you're negative, knowing the fact that you don't have enough of the viral load to transmit it as a, as right, a communicable So as long as you're disease. testing positive, you can still transmit it? Yeah, according to what the, what the manufacturer's um, purpose of it is. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a good diagnostic. Yeah. Okay. So um, this um, issue with um, the coworker being positive. When you emailed to the to email. Today. Oh yeah, yeah. So I went over there, um, and so just clarifying question about uh, the very same question about antigen versus um, PCR and. The same information was relayed, so everything is good. And, um, so I just wanted to confirm, do we do a PCR or do we do an antigen? Even if the antigen is negative, do we go by the PCR? And regardless, it's if you finish your DPH guide, guidance and CDC guidance with the isolation period, uh, you are released from isolation and or quarantine uh, pending the situation. OK, so so, um, and, and which so that kind of test is just a further uh, solidification, you know, that, hey, you know, I, I am good now, you know, and I'll still wear a mask for the remainder five days uh, after five days and whatnot. Of your and Mackenzie so probably knows this, the answer to this too. So um, if your coworker tests positive, you still come and you've been exposed closely to your coworker, you still come to work and you test daily or you only, you can come to work until you, then you have symptoms. I don't, I think that's a policy at the business level or I don't think that's any requirement. Seems like, oh. By, um, do you know, by can see what it is at the hospital now? There are requirements, like if my husband- Oh yeah, they go hard, you go hard until you- You just, you just work until yeah. you have symptoms and yep. you test positive. Yeah, yep. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yep. So you work until you test positive, and then they send you home for five days, and then you go back to work. After five days, even though you could still be positive with the antigen test. Well, healthcare sure. providers are have a different 
uh, set of guidelines. Um, so more, it seems like they're more lenient. No, actually, in the beginning, they were stricter, and they uh, actually required, based on what the critical need and shortage of it, um, you were able to go ahead and go back to work, even if you're symptomatic or whatnot, because there was such a critical need for the healthcare providers. Um, so doing the antigen, actually, the guidance was that um, I think health, so including dentists and MDs and whatnot, healthcare providers, they had a test negative with an antigen test uh, on day five or later in order to return. But that's at the CDC level, it's whatever is deemed of a critical need for that hospital, that entity, in order to go ahead and, and, and see if it requires a negative or you can still go in based on what the uh, situation was. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they go by the antigen test. However, I don't know if all antigen tests are the same. No, they're not. No, no there are different, uh, there are different kind of manufacturers that have different clinical results. Um, of Some of the antigen tests have the little PCR analyzers. And some of the antigen tests are just a tube under the hood, you know, with a test strip. Hmm. I don't know. So does it depend on the antigen test? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um, with your health report. Oh, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> I did uh, signed off for three well permits, 11 Overlook Lane, 371 North Luma Street, 12 Silvergrass Lane. Uh, moving on to septic, uh, three, I'm sorry, 203 South Loomis Road. Repair, these repairs. That was a repair, three George Loomis Road for repair. Final inspection, 24 Dior Run, 16 Falmouth Road. Repairs? No, final, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Got that sin? Uh, and then COC for 16 Fallon Road. You know, I think 24 Deer Run was new. I can't there remember. There were lots on Deer Run? I think there are a few. Yeah, I think it was. Few, you may be right. I think it was new. But usually, they, yeah, I was going to say, usually they have, don't have a number assigned to them. Right. But in this case, they may have. But... Yeah. Uh, moving on to food business. Did an inspection at Kettlebread Deli. Um, a clean and well-maintained establishment. Did the motocross. How many vendors did they have there? Fewer than the last time I was there. Was it 11? Uh, yeah, seven, seven in one eight? section yeah. and then four. Yeah, it was a little dusty. We had, we had a, there was a couple of vendors that had, they were plagued by you know, the dust from people and, you know, ATVs going by. So we asked them to please water it because they have a watering truck that would come by. Yeah. So that was the only thing. One of the biggest things, the sanitary cans yeah. looked pretty good. Yeah. And there were a lot of trash them. Trash was picked up to it. Oh, it was Especially very well maintained. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, really good were operation. Like fewer, uh, but that uh, minutes. And they're well maintained. Um, yeah. So, what vendors were there? Any vendors in town that were there? I mean, yeah, delicious. Just, yeah, delicious. Yeah, uh, three, three of them. Uh, the Legion. And yeah, I think so. Yeah, police and lions. Right. Yes. Yeah. Do we have those in town? Police and lions. Yeah, yeah, the police had a had a booth. The Lions Club had a booth. Yeah, yeah and then, I think that was it for in uh, for this town, and then a, a lot of outside vendors from all over the place uh, within the Commonwealth and uh, Connecticut as well. Yeah, how many people would you say were there for just people? Is it just oh. a one day event? Yes, it was. It used to be two days yeah. years ago. Um, uh, it was down, I think, from what I remember the heyday of it, but it was still a good crowd. I, mean, I think that during the heyday, they were talking around 20,000. Know, wow. Yeah. But this one, I don't think there's anywhere near that this time. But it was a healthy crowd. It was a nice day, too. Very, Very healthy. Yeah. Okay. 
and did a did a food inspection at Southwick Villages. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I did that. And they, weren't they behind? Did they, didn't they, they didn't submit their. Uh... No, they showed me the permit. You signed it. It's good. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Right. For some reason, I thought that was on the list. Uh, I crossed it out because um, when I went out there, I saw you. Yeah, good. Yeah. So, so that was on the list of that was at the yeah. one time. So they're good. So good. And okay. then we put here on the minutes about Dunkin' Donuts, uh, but they paid yesterday with their application uh, with the late fee. So. I and think what that's, was the late fee? So I think that, minutes. that was four fifty, and um, was it one fifty for the permit itself? Thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred. Thank you. And they paid it. Yeah. yeah, I think don't don't get on can afford it. I was going to ask yeah. in the past years, Tom, have you guys sent out the application at the end of the year? Here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that a normal thing that we're supposed to do? Well, it, not we're supposed to. It's yeah. a courtesy. We're doing that. Yeah, yeah. It's a courtesy. Yeah. 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 But stamps are now at fifty cents. Clearly, it made no impact. So. Well, it didn't. Most of them, but yeah. we're, we're only talking about the ones that didn't make an impact on it. I suppose yeah. you got to give credit to everybody else that got it in at the time. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's another thing. One well, thinking of it, um, pumping their grease traps. I mean, they're supposed to do it every like quarterly, but well, it depends on what the use of the kitchen is and how big the septic is. I mean, their grease traps. Do we, do we get any reports of those of the, the pumping? They're supposed to keep a record of that, and. When I go out to inspect, I have um, the right to go ahead and, and ask. Right. For, yeah. But uh, yes, technically, if you're doing, if you're a licensed hauler and pumper, you are required to send that to the Board of Health within uh, within 14 days. Uh, but I think with restaurants, it's, it's a little bit different, though, I, isn't it? I thought, didn't we discuss what this was before your time? That yes. I think yeah. we discussed with uh, Randy Brown about having a inspector go out to inspect either like a plumbing person kind of kind of not unlike the uh backflow defenders and we were discussing that right and, we but it would have to be with them because they have a bigger department than we do right well they also handle the sewer and that they, they right. have much more involvement yeah. with the sewer yeah. they want to make sure it, you don't have a problem and you know if there's a problem with a grease trap you can most likely right. smell it right. and you can you can observe right just the contents around it with you know over grease and stuff but like that so. are they and, and we decided that pumping quarterly was uh, just uh too much of a burden i mean it's just a lot well, of I money think they're supposed to. that's well we, we talked about that it was unnecessary yeah I mean, in other words it depends it depends on, on the yeah. use. on the use right so right. like let's say a uh, asian restaurant chinese restaurant sometimes they, they use more there's more oils and stuff but other restaurants may not have that same amount right you know so that's why we, we discussed it. If we just it mandated four times a year, people would be going in there and there's nothing to pump. So remember we had that discussion what, about several years ago. Yeah. Just maintenance of it is at the responsibility of the food establishment. Absolutely. And record keeping too. So and main moon, there was an issue with main moon with the with the grease trap, correct? Yeah. Uh, and and going <clears throat> into the and the sep and the sewer, because they're hooked to sewer, correct? Right. So Randy was um, kind of addressed that and was concerned about that. That the grease was affecting the sewer. But yeah. they wasn't. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't. Um, yeah, anything. Any, I mean, that's a problem with the yeah. sewers in general. You know, right. Grease. Yeah, that's why they really they, they try to get on that. So if there's if they see any evidence of uh, you know grease hardening and stuff that causes problems, mm -hmm. reduces the size of the pipes. Eventually, and it's really hard to. To get out unless you jet, jet route it. So it is a problem for all sewers, uh, you know, maintenance, not just in South, but everywhere. So Greece is a concern. Okay, housing. What's the story of those 16 Congolan Road? So we got a, a complaint from the Housing Authority? Yes, South and Westville Housing Authority. And I want, we, I want to confirm that I confirmed it. Um, and actually took pictures um, with a substantial amount of material out back. 
rubbish and debris. Uh, Do you have that, Cindy, for 16 Conway? Mm -hmm. And I, we tried to get a hold of the um, the tenant. Uh, I got the phone number from the housing authority and called several times and we can't get through the line is not um, working. So Alex and I discussed. We the, tried three different area codes, 617. Yeah. And she eight, couldn't six, get a hold of the person that the, the landlord, which is a top south, you know, Westfield South Lake Housing Authority. Um, so um, I, mean, I, I was concerned about the fact that there were, there were children there and with the amount of rubbish and debris out back. So I did call the uh, Children Protective Services um, and filed a 51A, um, asked that they investigate. And um, I haven't heard back from them yet. Um, but in addition to that, uh, they said they would investigate it. And we haven't heard anything yet. Uh, How many people would you say are living there? Six. Okay. And children? Six, and possibly seven. Children at the age of um, minors. What, what, what is it? What is it in the back? Trash. I'll so, get the full of Yeah. Okay. okay. And how old are the kids, would you think? Like they're infants young, or? Told me, yeah, they're in school. Oh, okay. School age. And they're like running around in this trash, I think. Well, I mean, there was no one home when I went. Um, okay. And that's, that's the reason why, because looking at, looking at it from the front, the house can't, it doesn't look too bad. I, I went around back only because I, there was only one door on the side and I knocked on the door. Hear a dog barking, so I'm not sure they could hear me, and there wasn't a bell. Can you smell anything? Not when I was there that day. Okay. But I. Uh, I bet today you probably did. But I went around back because um, I went around back because of the front. There's no front door, and I wanted to lock in the other door. So that's the back door. So that's when I said, "Now we need to do need to do something about that." So that's when I that's when I called. Show the city. Oh, that's like a fire thing it's too. Like the, the second, exactly, I agree. So you can only probably imagine what the inside of the house is. Yeah, that's why they. That's why you know I, I can't go in without. Um, fire, sure. wild, um, wildlife. Yeah, yeah, insects. You know. Yeah. Disease. So, uh, you know, clearly, and it clearly needs to be addressed. We are <laughs> hopefully uh, they're going to uh, do a, a site visit, um, and Alex and I are in the process of just finalizing the uh, order order for them to uh, for the tenant to clean clean it up. Well, it didn't print out. Oh, yeah, it did. It did. Do have a color printer back there? Um, yeah, we, we do, do actually. Yeah. But <laughs> there's yeah, no uh, ink. Well, I think we have some extra cartridges. That'd be great. Yeah, right behind it's the milk. It. Uh, it's the milk cartons for me. Let's see if I'm doing a theme of milk. Is that a milk that you can take off? Old times. <laughs> yeah. So we're just waiting back for follow up in the state. Is that yes, right? And okay. yeah, and, and we're going to be sending out a, a notification for the tenant. Are we sending out like a notice of non-compliance? Yes, okay. it's under housing code. Okay. All right. Now, is it the tenant's responsibility or is it the no, landlord's okay. responsibility? For what? To clean up. That's the tenant's trash and single family house. Absolutely. Okay. Tenant's Tenant. responsibility. But so it's the landlord who contacted you or it's a yeah. neighbor? So the landlord is the, is the housing authority. It's the town. It's a sound representative house. We, we own the house. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the only one we own right now. Oh, so, so we used to have our own South of Housing Authority. Oh, I see. And they folded it in with some contracting to Westfield. Years ago, when the 
Mr. Engelhardt was mm -hmm. running it. But Understood. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah. And under the housing authorities with Depot Court, Avon Circle, right? Well, that's a little bit different. We had a complaint on that. I think we have a you know, mm -hmm. we had a complaint in the Avon Circle dumpsters, but yeah. when we were on board this winter, we had some, we had uh, Kyle Scott and myself went out and there was a dripping, uh, there was a uh, number of units had dripping. We weren't sure where it was coming from, but it was over this, over the stove. Terrible. Remember that? Yeah. So in, in discovering who owns it, the town owned it at one time and then gave it to a Wayfinders. association. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of strange, but one of the people that works for Wayfinders Finders is on the board. It's like a, uh, it's like a corporation. And uh, Matt Streeter from Granville is one of the one of the board members. So it's not owned. It's not owned like like a person owns it. And um, it's a, it's a corporation that's owned that, that people signed out with many years ago. Like and, towns, no the town officials? individual people. Yeah. Matt Streeter's on it. He wasn't. He, uh, it's a very. Um, how can I say? It's a very unusual space that who the ownership of that of that uh, Aaron Circle. Mm -hmm. um, but the person that's a pre the president of the association or, or the corporation is the one that that we've been dealing with and has mm -hmm. been pretty responsive in, in the past. And and uh, I think that they're. How about Depot Court? Does the town own that? Yes. Yes. And then they that's, own. Separate. And then, and then various that's right. sizes. That's correct. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, Anyways, twenty six Lexington Circle. Cross out. Cross out. I don't know why that's there. That's that was my out mistake. Out. Uh, I, I think I meant to put a Hearn Circle, and I, I was thinking Lexington for some reason. Um, yeah. So there, I got a multiple complaints about uh. Republic Services not being able to, or not picking up the dumpsters, what was it, since the end of June? Is that right? The complaint? Tell you what, really, sir? Yeah. And so, yeah. And so we went out there, two dumpsters in the middle. They were full, you know, not enough room. So we called, uh, and they said that they were going to go ahead and send someone out later that day to no avail. Do it again the following day, no avail, continue to get the complaints. And then uh, I reached out to uh, the person in charge. Of the, so we reached out to Wayfinders who are, it's kind of difficult because they're not the property management, but they are somehow in charge of, I, I don't know how to explain I, it, you're, it's you're weird. Right. I mean, if you look at the, when I chased this down last year, oh. To look at the ownership of it's trying to it's like grabbing a straw and trying to figure out who the yeah. owner is there's not but the wayfinders is kind of responsible they're the, they're the management of, right you know they're the managing but they're not in charge of the facility it's it's um, weird i don't know so anyway so I contacted them and uh republic services and i pretty much just said you know this needs to be maintained you know per board of health and protection of the environment as well and trying to lower the risk of nuisance and whatnot. Um, and I think it worked because I did not get any more complaints. I did a drive by and I didn't see any issues. It looked fine, it didn't seem full. Uh, so Republic Services was telling me that there was a shortage of staff and whatnot after multiple attempts and communication with them. Uh, but apparently the issue was across the board of all Western Massachusetts. Um, so it's resolved now. And and actually, we, in all the years, and we see very few complaints from that place. Just happened to be last year, we had that issue with the water dripping and, and that's been that's been resolved. Yeah. So, and this is the first time we've had a complaint of dumpsters in my, in my tenure. Yeah. So they've actually managed it pretty well. Yeah. Beach testing, South Pond Beach, which I am brought with them. Oh, I forgot to print out the results. Um, but that's good. It passes. The only thing is that it is increasing. Uh, would this be test number week five for us? Four or five. 
so it has been increasing, but the water temperature has been increasing as well. Uh, yeah, more bathers, bathers. Right, there's more bather load, right? You know, right, stuff right. like what's that. The, what's the cutoff? 100? 235. 235? Yeah. Is that a parking? I went there. I was there one day. My daughter and there's a construction on the road. Oh, no, no. Uh, for the. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. no, no for, was, for the cutoff. The, 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 the E. 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 E.
talking about what they're going to need for uh, nursing services. Did um, do they have a copy of all? Yep. So the I'm going to send of applications. Yeah. So I'm going to send them the priority of needs for each town, like just like a little like bullet. You know, what's your number one? What's your you know top? You know, all the way maybe five or something like that. Uh, and doing um, sending over the resumes. We got four public health nurse applicants through. I don't know what happened. Uh, I take credit for one. Oh, good. All right. Well, we'll 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 take a little. Uh, yeah. So we'll we'll look at that during the interview, and then that was pretty much it, right? Yeah. It was a good meeting. And, and right, they're going to look at that. They're going to establish, you know, look at that, having a Zoom meeting for an app for the, uh, the applicant or in person, however, however the towns want to do it. Yeah. Can we see those? Sure. Do you have copies or those no? Are the these are I the. I just want to see preliminary what we're, what we're, yes. what we're what yeah. pulling in here. Um, would it be hard for Cindy to make four copy of them? Are they no. double sided or? No, no, I can do that. It's not a problem. Um, what? I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. Do you want um, want to make have Cindy make a copy of them? So we'll have a copy. They are double sided, aren't they? Yes. So we got to we got to protect the environment. Well, I know I'm into double sided. Is that only three though? I'll make them double four. Sided. There is four. It's okay, okay. okay. Better. Three. So we just need McKinsey and I, Tom or forget about me. Yeah. Or Tom, do you want a hard copy? Do you want a hard copy, Tom? Yes. So three yes. copies, Cindy. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, they're all actually pretty. Um, do they say qualified. they want either part time or full time, or do they? So we have to reach out, you know, and say, "Hey, thank you." You know, which position are you interested in? You know, stuff like that. So, so well, would you have Cindy reach out to them, or how? No, I, I would okay. want to reach out to them. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll collect all the information. I'll send it with the boards. Uh, to the chairs of the boards of health, um, and then uh, you know, hopefully we can have an agreed uh, date for an interview, and just do like a an interview with uh, the applicants. And maybe you can do them all in one day. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it at this time. Yeah, about the. Well, that's good news. Yeah. And then I do want to talk. Uh, is that is now? That? Question: You had mentioned that this grant you could have asked for more money originally. Originally, yes. ship has sailed. Yeah, I know. Is it possible when it gets renewed that we could ask for more money? Yes, that's that. that's the needs of the capacity in the fall for FY twenty. And the answer is yeah. That, that, that for next year, that this round here is going to stay the same. Three hundred thousand dollar max, but we, that's what we're we're already locked in. Well, we're locked in at the one seventy. That's right, right. We're locked in already, and we're not even locked in at three hundred thousand. But next, the following year, um, they're going to be a little more generous when, yeah. when after needs assessment uh, exactly. is taken place and evaluated. Uh, hopefully, they will uh, allow more money to be spent for for not just nurses but for other. Uh, people like you know of social work or title one, yeah, right. title five, title five person. Yeah. Um, a variety, you know, it'd be, it would be similar to the nursing function, but it would be an environmental specialist. Okay. Hmm? Obviously my key. But that's not until the year after next. Yeah. So but the, it's going to be this fall. And so DPH is going to be reaching out to each of the P, uh, uh, PHE grantee towns and just doing like, hey, okay, so how's it going? What are your credentials? What are your concerns? And just you know, a mini survey, if you will, compiling it. Uh, not about performance, but just, you know, just what I'm doing right now with this re-engagement, just going full circle and saying, okay, so let's go ahead and start. What's going on? We got applicants. Let's, let's do this. You know. And Jeremy reiterated that today. He said yeah. that they're going to evaluate it with the assessment, and, and mm -hmm. if they found that there's 
uh, deficits um, in the towns, for example, our our towns and other towns surrounding, then they we can uh, look at applying for other grants um, or I mean, adding to the grant. We're not necessarily even a cap of three hundred thousand. That's just the case now. And they're able to provide other support. Said, exactly. Yes. Which right. Which is which is you know very yeah. kind of them. So. So yeah, things are moving. Things are moving. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, it's been a while, but things are moving. Um, yeah, I don't know if we should wait for Cindy. So, or, she, or just whether she listens to the recorded meetings, and um, mm -hmm. we should make it out. So, Valerie Bird is going to step down August first. August first for contact tracing. Right, and we're going to have Mary Johnson. Is that who it is? Do our contact tracing if we need it? Yes, right now, yeah. And on that note, we went to the um, the Tritown grant uh, that we're a part of, which is Southwick, West, Agalon, Southwick. West, I mean, Springfield, West Springfield, and, and Agalon, and us. Yeah, Agalon. And um, they were able to get additional monies uh, for this year for FY23 with an additional $20,000 allotted to Southwick and uh, 30000 to Agawam. And we can use this money to hire a contact tracer. Uh, if there's a surge going to happen in the fall or whatnot, um, we're able to go ahead and provide that um, capability. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, so uh, we're only contact tracing what um, groups right. like exactly group homes and anyone daycares right. and anyone out of it. Yeah. And daycares. We're not doing individuals anymore. What do you mean? Correct, Tom. They're not no, doing they contact tracing for individual people anymore. I thought it was they're not requiring it, but uh, boards of health still have that option. Yes. And what if there's not a surge? Then if there's not a surge, then we don't need to go ahead and that, yeah, that money goes and back use that us. money. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so it's only good for one year. Okay. And the money is only for contact tracing? That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Don't With forget this, that nurse can also do that when we hire the, the nurses. You know, we're also going to have to, you know, be able to help with that. Yeah. If it so do we give her extra money or do we just well, give that money I think back? the more the merrier. Right. I don't think we should. Yeah. yeah. But I'm saying if 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 it, after after a year well, our nurses would be on board and they would be able to assist with contact raising with Avon. And they could get, and they would get the oh you mean with the Tritown grant? No, if that if that money uh, you said that was only worth it for a year that twenty thousand dollars extra. So we don't know if we're going to get them next year. That's right. But in the meantime, we'll have the nurses to be able to help. Yes. And right now we don't. We Absolutely. Just Valerie and that was just for one town. She was doing a couple of towns. She was doing Holland and, and Granville. Yeah, but now since we don't have her, the, the, the nurse would be, you know, be a, a, a major role for them. Yeah, essential function. All right, so who's going to be doing it? Mary Johnson or Martha Johnson? Mary Johnson? Mary Thomas. Mary, Mary Thomas. Thomas, and she's yeah, out of she's West Springfield? She's an FES. West Springfield. Yeah. Oh, out Pretty of West Springfield. Yeah. yeah, she's an FES. And does she know what she's going to be doing it? Yeah. Are we not going to have Valerie doing it, or has she been doing it Yes, they have been informed. Yeah, okay. we had that we yep. had a meeting. Uh, so right now it seems to be okay, and yeah, she will be taking over. Uh, but there is a surge that we just have to anticipate hiring uh, someone, and we have the you know the funds in order to meet that for the short term. Yeah. Okay, uh, on the COVID thing too, you said you try to contact the school to um, see about setting up clinics, and has been no. to no avail. When was that? I talked to you the other day. No, because they're not in session, I thought. No, you said you reached out to like the superintendent. No, no, that was that was when I first got here in May to be on the the notification list when there's a COVID-19 exposure with the superintendent's list. And I have not heard anything during that time. Okay. The rec center is owned by the town, so we could utilize it for our clinic. <laughs> Found that out. 
It is. Yeah, Russ Fox has a lot to do with the rec center, so. Word. Yeah. <laughs> we can help. Yeah, that's my reconnaissance. So when would be the good time to middle of August to contact the school? Or when do they start going back? You mean for vaccination? Yeah, to contact to get something going if they're interested in how we can do it. And so when would be the best time when they start coming back the middle of August or the beginning of August? For or planning or for to for conduct the vaccination? Planning. Planning to have a vaccination sometimes like September. Uh we talked I mean, about doing it the earlier Wednesday. the better, I think. We, we talked about doing it on a Wednesday. Uh, at our wow, last that's meeting. early. They don't do it after Labor Day? No, now? no, they don't do it after Labor Day anymore. They used to. Interesting. Hmm. They don't do what after Labor Day? Start school. Start school. school. Remember the old, the old days we used to start school after Labor Day. <laughs> right. No, I had that. <laughs> yeah. well, okay. Uh, yeah, no, they do it before Labor Day. Mm -hmm. For the most part, most of the school is doing it. Is that a COVID thing? I don't know. I haven't been in school no. in a long time. Hey, Peter, do you know when they're starting school in Southwick? Yeah. Okay. Not off the top of my head, I don't. I thought you were talking about Westwood. Yeah, 29. Hey, Peter. 29? Yeah. Um, 29? 29th it is. So I can reach out to them and see if we can do a, a vaccination clinic. Um, I'm going to do that right now. And then we'll probably use a vendor like Walgreens or something like that, just delegate it out because we don't have the capability for immunizations and vaccinations right now. So we'll just use a third party vendor or the DPH mobile vaccine unit as well. And they use that like uh, uh, having sponsored uh, like another entity um, providing the immunizations. Yeah. Hey, FDA approved um... Novavax. Yeah. 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 Now, what is that? Um, two, it's two doses, also, and is it? I'm not like too an familiar. attenuated virus. Is it? It's more similar to. I have to re read up on it. Do you uh, know anything about it, um, McKinsey? No. No facts. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Okay. Um, so. 6.15 Monday at the Sleckman's meeting. Sleckman's meeting down in the, um, they meet down in the auditorium now or the little room? I think the little room last time we met there. Okay, so 6.15 we'll go there and okay. vote on a, 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 a temporary member. Um, so you both have to be there, right? We both have to, well, yeah. last I knew we both have to do should be there, but I used to zoom yeah. in, but I'm just going to be there just in case. Yeah, yeah. it shouldn't take yeah. that long. That's fine. No, it shouldn't take long at all. Unless we have unless we have more than one applicant and we have to do interviews. I find that highly unlikely. <laughs> yes, they yeah. they're advertising. Uh-huh. And um disposal of work systems, uh, regulation status. The town said we had, to, uh, Carl said we had to have to go through our, our attorney to look at the regs. The regs are, no, the regs are just like they were, except they're half of them. And you never heard back from attorney. Is it Coyle? Yeah, no. Um, I, I reached out to him, and I think uh, Alex did as well. And I think Carl also. But we've done this before. Right. right. We just have to post it. So I just have to know how to post right. it. And, and so I did send a message out to Michelle and Carl, but Michelle Hill is on vacation. Uh, yeah. So I'll call, I'll call the, was it Bacon Wilson again? Yeah. I don't see why we have to, um, All we have to do is two consecutive weeks. Think of what we're going to have the hearing. And then two consecutive weeks prior 
when you want to set a date for it, yeah, now just set and then it we'll, set, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out what, what, what to do if you get a date yeah. and, at that um, and I will make sure that we get the, the proper uh, postings. Okay, so I, um, looking, looking into September, September, I won't be available the third week, the third Thursday in September but we'll have two members by then. Just telling you that now, the third okay. Thursday and I won't be available. Gotta be there. Mm -hmm. So do you wanna have this in August? Or do you wanna have it in October? Do you wanna have it the first week of September? Um, September 1st is the first Thursday. The 15th. I won't be. Oh, yeah, the 15th. 15th won't be there. Well, oh, wait a minute. We're at 15th. Yeah. For the hearing, right? Uh, well, no, right. no, I'm just for, for a meeting. I'm thinking right. I might be here the uh, 15th? 15th for a meeting. I'm not sure. I don't well, think it's got to be two weeks in consecutive, you said. Um, notice of the time and place and subject matter must be published for two consecutive weeks in the local paper. That's the first publication <laughs> being at least 14 <laughs> days, <laughs> at least 14, at least 14 <laughs> days prior to the hearing. So right. it could be 21 days prior to the hearing. Okay, right. But two consecutive right. weeks. Right, so once we, if we nail a date down, then we'll go we'll back, back no, we'll, in here to make sure we right. get the proper date posted. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you, Cindy. Yep. Sorry, the printer did not have paper. <laughs> and then I couldn't find the paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll just look at these that are our own time. Yep. We're going to reach out. We're going to reach out to the these people. Tell them that we. Alex, you're going to reach out to the applicants and tell them that we received their application and we're reviewing it and all that. Yeah, yeah what's that? What's our timeline on like this? Can't be like months, right? No, no. Because, I hope well, to get this done. Yes, with the, yeah. absolutely. No. Okay, we will not get this done, but we oh, do yeah. have to. There's other if the coordinate parties. The other yeah, right. there's other parties. The other towns. So, what's a realistic timeline that we can interview these people? I, think I mean, if I send August. out a notification tomorrow, yeah. yeah, I think mid August yeah, think is fine. Oh, August, yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I will reach out to the applicants um, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, just do it that way. Okay. Uh, let them know, confirm that we received it, and um, you know what's a good time for an interview. Do you want part time or full time? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then and then I'll send that to the PHE. Members, yep, and to uh, including us. So. Great, okay. Because I will tell you, our responsiveness is going to be a huge impact on their peaked interest. And we just we just got this active on Friday, right? Oh, great. Okay, perfect. Indeed. Yeah, that was indeed. indeed. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. 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 Let's see what you did there. That's good. Okay. So, great. So. That's very lovely. Yeah. No, they being in August, I don't, you know, the other people. Huh? Vacations, vacations and stuff. Yeah. So, so when should we close out that service? Huh? Uh, indeed. Well, that's what I'm saying. The, I think the longer you use it, the more they charge. Oh, okay. oh I see. I, I well, think that's how it works. To I told yeah. that they told me that the posting itself was free because we were in the municipality. Oh, okay. Oh, and then okay. we only have to pay for the applicants that we accept. I'm not sure how much she did. Okay, but you find that out. Could be, yeah. yeah, could be millions. Okay. Joe, okay. have you ever used Indeed? You didn't have any idea what they charge when you successful? It wasn't it was, huge. It wasn't huge money. Okay. Okay. Um. But you're, you're, you're yeah, but also right? like if you're on yeah. vacation, tighten it up or send a send a representation on your behalf, right? Like we're not going to prolong interviews over oh, the no. whole entire summer. No, no, I, I hope not. And I think, yeah. I think people are are eager to be interviewed. So yes. I don't think that's a matter. In of... in the nursing field, it, it's because this job is a diamond of seriously. So it's 
Yeah. I just interviewed somebody today who said like, I'll either take this job or I'll take another job depending on who gets back to me the fastest. This is wow. what this candidate said to me. Mm -hmm. She said, I need, I need benefits for my kids. So depending on who I get an offer from first, that's what job I'll take. Well, that's what's interesting because this is only, oh, okay. only <laughs> one, one of them is one, benefit. Only one of them is benefits. The other one's part-time, right? Yeah. So, well, I'm just saying yeah, like no, she, no. this person actually had so the audacity did. to yeah. say that to yeah. me who I was interviewing yeah. her. Wow. And so like, well, yeah. it's, that's, she got hired. She was yeah. honest. I mean, <laughs> she got hired. <laughs> But, you know, so it's just, it's, it's yeah. a field where, yeah. like, you know, they have the stance to be able to just outright yeah. say. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thinking it's going to take a while to get everybody yeah. together. Yeah. Well, you got it. Now, even, though we'll, we got even though we'll be ready. I mean, yeah, we, we will be ready. We didn't have yeah. applicants before. Don't worry. So it's, yeah. it's, it's not a problem. Forward, right. You know? Not a problem. We got this. Um. Okay, Cindy, we did discuss some things while you were photocopying. So I don't know if you know you have to look at the yeah, minutes to. of the meetings to see that part. Yeah, I always listen to it when I do. Okay, yeah. all right. So that part there, you. Um, I <clears throat> so the disposal regulations. Um, you want to hold off and do those like in October because I think we want to get this near. I mean, there's done. nothing pressing about right. it. True. There really is. Yeah, right. no, there is. I just so yeah. we'll, yeah. we'll, all we're doing is just confirming, yeah. following, the, following the process. That's all. Yeah. Um, there are things that get the most support for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to just mention um, about uh, a few updates that's come up um, food wise. Uh, I had a Sully Munson call, Sally Munson oh, yeah. call me about the uh, community pantry and that they are moving to a new location uh, and they uh, were just wondering about the food plan review and uh, a pre-operational um, checklist for during this transfer location. Uh, so I did send her um, a food plan review guide as well um, and CC'd um, Kyle Scott as well. Um, with the building use as well. Does, uh, yeah, does Mr. DD have any uh, impact on that? Input. Know anything about anything about that? Yes. Yeah, so I was going to move them. So we've acquired the church, the food pantry, and the back building. I was planning on moving them out of their little house into that back building. I stay ready with Aldiga. We're earmarked into the budget and it's still in there for 150000 So I plan on building them a new building. Wow. On that property. The property was up in the back as one. Yeah, right. Years. So, what wow. isn't it all? Yeah, well, we're going to work on that. Do you know what we're gonna work on that. So, the building won't be up there. Uh, we're going to yeah. do some design and reset. Earth moving, but yes, they'll have a new building hopefully by late fall. Any plans for the existing building then? The existing house will stay a house that will get rented. The church is going to stay the church upstairs. We'll do weddings and whatnot. Um, downstairs, we're Hooked up at the uh, Southwood Agron Westfield Randall Town Police Department. Don't, there's a, a room they need for abused um, victims. They don't want to go to the police department anymore. So the uh, Southwood PD is going to take one of the rooms downstairs of the church just for that for that scenario. And then um, the back hall, we plan on doing bingo, spaghetti suppers, Thanksgiving dinners, and delicious ice cream. Right, we still have the rooms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Historical Society meets there, right? The Historical Society yeah. meets in that building. A lot they? of people seem to yeah. meet in that yeah. building. Yeah. So they'll still be able to yeah. meet in Next that building. That's great. They'll still okay. be able to meet that building. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Where is this thing we're talking about? It was, cool. There'd be like a, would there like be a fee to cover electricity and things like that? We're working on, we just need to maintain. We feel the rent of that house yeah. will cover a lot of that, the maintenance expenses, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, and then if we can pull off some weddings around upstairs with a small fee. Maybe some fundraisers too. It's a good cause. Oh, yeah. Well, um, someone we know was able to acquire the old bingo machine from the VFW and it's fully restored. Wow. Uh -huh. So that's going to go into the back. Yeah. Or is it the vacuum one? Hopefully we'll do a bingo once a month, especially in the winter months, you know. Yeah. Nice. That's Lots great. Thank you. That's oh, a, good. That's a nice, uh, that's nice. But it's, it's going to be more than just Southwick, right? It's going to have 
multiple uh, towns, you said? As far as the lease side of it, yes, yes, yeah, so it would be five towns. Wow. And that's how, that's, how Nick, that's how Nick the Baldiga can be, who was involved because it has to do with more the than the town. side, but Nick, yes, yeah. we cover technically Southwick town and Grand Valley. Yeah. Right. Right. We have a little to do with that. Well, I'm not positive about that, but yes, um, he yeah. toured the building right away. I begged, begged, begged. He threw a year mark in and laughed at me. He had made phone calls, so it's still in. Good. We have one week left. Excellent. Yeah, that's great. So, yeah. Well, thank you for that. And yeah. moving on uh, with Krabby Joe's, uh, reached out to Ken Eggleston. Yes, Eggleston. Um, he was here the other week um, and trying to go ahead and do a food plan review as well uh, with the architect and just looking at the kitchen design, making sure it's in compliance with the codes. Um, Trying to do an initial assessment, like a walkthrough, just to look at the current layout and seeing what areas of improvement should be there. You know, put a hand washing sink here, uh, making sure it's smooth and for this, you know, surfaces, uh, you know, uh, equipment specs, and sort of modi uh, modifications uh, since there's a, an expansion of the there's a code. They're on sewer, right? Yes. Are we yes. going to be involved in? Are we involved in that with the storm drain and sewer? No, the sewer. No, yeah, sewer. Okay. Yeah. So same with the same with the uh, arena. Uh, it's not us. Just the kitchen. Um, I think, think Tammy had done an initial walkthrough. You know, probably they made they had some changes, so it probably makes right. sense to go back. And, well, I haven't thorough. seen the design. I haven't, I haven't seen the layout. Design. I haven't seen They initially anything. told us, well, they initially told us they weren't really doing much new. But if they're going to be renovating it, I can imagine they would be bringing in some new surfaces. That's why I wanted to meet with them on site. Go, Absolutely. Go find out. Absolutely. We had a hard time getting old. Yeah. But, and uh, I reached out to, I think, 12 pumpers and haulers today, uh, just reminding about setting in a uh, pumping record um, to the Board of Health. Uh, as you know, it's very important to maintain that. You're supposed to send it in within 14 days of a, a pump of a system. Uh, and it's just a really good indication to know, you know, hey, you know, this tank is, or this system is not in good repair. It's poor, it's, the condition needs to be approved upon, or, you know, just also understanding the frequency of when it's being pumped out as as, as a good indicator and it should be on our radar. Um, so that is part of 310 CMR 15 uh, when it comes to haulers and pumpers. And I don't know if you have a, I think you mentioned something about that. Yeah. Okay. Good. I don't know how you feel about that. Just uh, as a courtesy, just hey, don't forget to send in the. Pump. No, that's fine. They're supposed to send it to us within yeah. fourteen days. Within fourteen days, yep. Which doesn't always happen. No, Remember, right. Um, no, well, we to have the one okay. pumper in town no, at the end right. of the year. We oh get, yeah, yeah. We or, get the whole staff. We get a whole staff. Or not, yeah. or not at all. Yeah. Or not at all. I mean, the ones we don't know about, we don't know about. Yeah, right. yeah. that's right. Right. Wait. Um. Now I got a message um, from Carl about MIIA member services update. Does anyone know what that is? Yeah, what is MIIA? Massachusetts Insurance, right? Joe, you know what that is, right? Massachusetts Insurance. Is it, isn't it insurance for the municipal insurance for towns? I don't think there was two lines. though. What was it? It's MIIA. Yeah. According to the... Oh, Stan, no, that doesn't say, say right. it says uh, Cabot Risk Risk Management yeah, Advisor. Yeah. So, do you know what, how that, how I go about that? I've never done that. To review grants and rewards and to schedule a visit. Learn something grants. new. What kind of grants? So, usually, if there's something that 
I mean, you may qualify for. You get a so, so what Carl's nicely saying or that paper is saying is there's funds available. For uh, risk so management. we get credits off of yes. that. Or, yes. You know, say it's a five or eight hundred dollar thing you're trying to do for risk management yeah, that may uh -huh. qualify for that piece of it. That is so cool. Sorry. Yeah. Let's do that. No, that's great. Well, I think, you know, if, if, for instance, I think, I think we were, I was talking to Carl about this a while ago, for instance, like DPW, if they, if they have training on, on you know, proper uh, protective devices, wearing, you know, uh, fluorescent vests and things like that, it lowers the uh, insurance or it won't increase as rapidly. And that's kind of the same thing. If we can find an analogy for the for public health, then it would, it would it'd help us fight it reducing the insurance cost for the town, which mm -hmm. is, I'm sure, substantial. Can you think of we, anything off the top of your head? Uh, well, it's interesting because it. because public health is sort of a prevention as, you know, yeah. mindset. Right. So uh, I don't really know what their goal is or what kind of deliverables we can uh, meet in their definition or their criteria, but I bet that we can come up with something um, when I discuss later, um, and we can brainstorm as well. Right. So, I guess you, she, she said we can look at the towns too. Visit. Right, it, it, right. It's going to he wants to come out for a visit, or she, yeah. or she and uh, find out what other towns are doing, so we don't have to reinvent the wheel. No, your strategies. Yeah. Uh, you ready for North Pond, or you got other things? Uh, let's see here. Waiting for that to be last. No. Uh, so yeah, okay, we can talk about North Pond. What would you like to talk about? Well, you went to conservation, invited you to their meeting. Yeah. So we want to just. Yeah, so when, when was that? Was that Monday? I can't even remember. This conservation, well, this week. It was this week. We went to a conservation um, meeting. And so they wanted to know about the, the complaints. I provided that information. Uh, discussed the findings um, and now what I you, observed. Were... You yourself got complaints, or <laughs> the complaints came through conservation? No, I got the complaint. I got a complaint too. I yeah. forwarded it to, to Alex. Yeah. Okay. Complaint of of uh, well, trash and uh, uh, you know human waste, waste and uh, just yeah uh, just potential public health nuisance uh, issues. And the trash uh, was up above contained. or down below? Uh, so the knocked over trash was on top, uh, but there was trash scattered along the way as well. I mean, there's a broken uh, a camper chair, it looks like bonfires or whatnot. Um, just toilet paper and, and Soil. Does the police department have a patrol there? Do we know? I think they do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They drive by or they actually get out of their car and. Good. Okay. Well, they're not there to pick up toilet paper. No. And of no. Right. I realize that. Yeah. But that would help. Right. If you shoot people out of there, you're not going to get the fire zone. Yeah. But people can be there. Yeah. Yes, sure. All right. Yeah. They just can't have fires. That's why we bought that land for $5 million. Can't, can't there, can they? You did? <laughs> My tax money did. Oh, I think oh. it was a million of ours, right? And the rest um, was state. I haven't. It was we a had um, of, kind of, we, of resources that went 500000 and it was a bond or something. $4 million came from um, Fish and Game. Yeah. CPC put money in, right? Um, Franklin Trust. It's not people who live in South Lake that do that. Donations. It's people who don't live in South Lake that treat that land like that. Mm -hmm. um, so I heard back, I reached out to uh, TEP and- uh, Okay, but before you get there, right now, how was it left when the town voted that they wanted this land? Um, and at one of your selectmen meeting, how was it discussed? Who was going to patrol it, take care of vandalism, pick up trash? Volunteers, ma'am. Yeah. Volunteers. Volunteers. And, and, and conservation and so on and so on and so on. We bought that to protect them, not to party on it. 
Right. But unfortunately, there's hardly none. And there's 200 folks there on a weekend. We have a problem. Yeah. Um, 200 people goes over there and they pass so you can party for the next spring, which is here now. The big we park. have a problem. Big park. And everyone fishing well, yeah. and everyone's been informed. They've had their meetings. Everyone's got their big finger out and they're all going shoo, shoo, shoo. But they're still partying there and having a great time. The good news I hear is the public, our public beach, they went up on the price last year a dollar or two. So the tennis there has been very low because now they go to the free north on beach. Yep. That's why you see all your trash and all your crap. Yeah. Kind of the and now they don't even park in the designated <laughs> parking. Now they park down, yep. down, the road. down South Long mm -hmm. or Granado. Absolutely. Is that yeah. because there's no room? Because there's no room. And they leave their trash now down wow. the street where I walk my baby down our stroller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we need to put up some more parking signs. Um, well, not not us. <laughs> I'm, I'm, when I say us, I'm as as a, as a, okay. town. Um, and it's supposed to be what um, passive recreation. What is that? What was the term? Was passive passive, passive yeah. recreation is supposed to be. And was the thing what to have it go back to not its actually. natural yeah, state. That's yep. So are there trails? Yes, there's trails. If a tree it's falls in a trail, can we clean it? For it it's it's, it's, it's what used to be a road. Like it used to be houses back there. Right. Right. That's what I that's so, when we went back there when there was those well, we can have cottages back there. We had, we had a house there. Yeah, cottages. Yeah. So I'm it's just, it's a preformed trail, if you will. But Say someone handicapped wants to go there no, and get pushed on a wheelchair. Not. They can't if there's a tree down, or we can't remove no. the tree. No, it's not handicap accessible. Right, it's not, it's not a park. Accessible. It's not a recreational yes. area. Yeah, but I'm sure someone will make it down. It's conservation land. Right. Yeah. Right. Restrictions are restrictions. It's you don't go to into a conservation land and say, "Oh." Parks. I should be able to. So it's the natural habitat, but people can walk yes. as long yes. as they go right. step sure. right. If they're an ambulatory, yes, of course. But you don't roll up to the woods of conservation land and say, oh, I should be able to wheel my wheelchair through these woods. Well, and you put know, American paper Disabilities and, Act. And, and food. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's... Yeah. So the problem right now with North Pond, North Pond from the public health side is trying to contain the potential hazards uh, that, you know, could really result in such a So uh, for us, we're just trying to protect the public health and the environment and trying to contain uh, the nuisance and, and, and the potential hazards. Well, they are hazards actually. Um, so at the meeting, they talked about um, having a, putting a, a potty potty and questioning about that ability. You're smiling. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, and so, uh, you know, I, I followed up and I heard back from uh, Elizabeth Newlands uh, from the Mass Wildlife um, uh, to try to hold a meeting with town officials um, sometime soon. Uh, and the Board of Health will receive an invitation to that meeting. Um, and we'll hear from the Mass Wildlife um, directly as well. Do you want to put a porta potty there? I mean, it's not to encourage. But but do we want to? It's supposed to go back to its natural habitat. Well, yeah. well, that's not the problem. The problem is the fact that we have observed these issues. Put port, you put a porta potty, in and then you're encouraging. Well, I don't think you're encouraging it. What you're trying to do is contain the issue and contain yeah. the biohazards and the and the biological waste. Because the last thing I want is little Billy to step on something, you know, eh, you know, what is that? You know, <laughs> yeah. that's, we don't want that, you know. Uh, then the other uh, issue is, okay, so say, yes, you can do that. Who, what board? The town and that's what I mean. Because we get more questions than the answers right now, and that's why it, there's other agencies yeah. involved. Because obviously, yeah. Fish and Wildlife has, has a stake in this financial as well, mm -hmm. as well as the town. But yeah, yeah it's about the porta potties. We we have to start doing something about this. The, the mess that's there now, and and since people can still go on there, um, yeah, unless we unless we don't allow people to go on there, which is not part of the 
I don't think that's the, the future. The point, we yeah. have to we have to do something to allow yeah. people to do because what nature right. requires, you know. And we're going to have people in it. You're going to have they're going to use a bathroom, right? right? And we can't stop people from using not it. doing this. But what we're doing is containing it, lowering the barriers of the fact that hey, listen, you're containing it in here, um, and and that's that's where the protection is really important and it's in its name preservation you're preserving it okay in granby connecticut it's in granby you go down on the right there's that park or what is it mclean or something McLean, yep do they have porta potties there yes they sure do they do mm -hmm. right. they're pretty nice too right, so they do and potties. they have nice trash cans <laughs> and how about like up at mount tom when you take a walk up there on those trails yeah, they have they have facilities in Showtime. Oh yeah, they're like buildings. Yeah, they're buildings. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, you're right. I mean, it was bought, it was purchased, so people use the land. So regardless, do we think it's going to attract more people to do what they're going to do? Yes, but uh, I thought it was purchased to have some natural habitat. I think it was purchased so that people wouldn't build houses on it. I think that's was purchased, but that's beside the point. So again, I don't really yeah. know the historical context yeah. that much. All I know is the issues that we have that's presented. We have to find you know mitigation strategies yeah. to go ahead and contain this before it gets any worse. Again, and the exists. last thing, yeah. and the town does own that property. Yeah. Right. And so it's, it's, but not solely. In other words, the responsibility, that money that came in from Fish and Wildlife, they have a stake in this. And I think that the I mean, Commonwealth, yes. And I think they're going to exercise that. Um, I don't think they just gave it and said, you know, you can have it. We, we add your, your money unless, unless I'm mistaken. Well, we Fish and Wildlife wanted to, wanted to do it for do habitat and protection. Comment on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you look it up, you'll see how much Fish and Wildlife owns, you see how much the town owns. We negotiated that whole deal. I think we have so many, I would say hundreds of feet, so many feet of beach. Right. Then wildlife kicks into that to the right yeah. hand side. That's why you hear guns going off, you know, seasonally because it's still on the land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that's part of the, the conservation right. restriction. Yeah. Fishing, hunting. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, uh, hiking, cross country hiking, uh, skiing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see where they go to hunt, though. There's never trash there. No. Never trash there. Yeah. Where there's hunting, though, during hunting season, are people still walking those oh, yeah. trails? Yeah. 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 And the beach. Yeah. I just find it really interesting looking at uh, the restriction between the, the Franklin Land Trust mm -hmm. is that it says no disposable systems, permanent or temporary. And a lot of other was the most absolutely restrictive, uh, it looks like restriction uh, for, you know, as a deed for the transfer to the town that um, it's just, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's, it's, a, it's as if it's a walking, right. you know, contradiction yeah. in such a way where it's like, well, if you ask for permission, we're able to do that. But it seems like the activity that's being performed is enforced by the Commonwealth if there is an issue being done that say by inhabitants, the inhabitants of the town, but how do we prove, you know, but that's a whole different matter. But the issue at hand is how do we go ahead and, and mitigate the risk and the issues right now at this time? When is the meeting gonna take place? Do you have any I, I have not heard back. It is something that it sounds like it's a multi-dimensional yeah, multi-agency yeah. kind of cooperation uh and i don't know mr d if you know how long that's been going on how long that's been said what was this they purchased it right there's there's three or four different entities involved okay. some don't want more bodies some don't care you know this isn't new this is just this year's version of the same bs so now even the health inspectors it's, it's your new headache. Um, it hasn't changed. The, the talk is portified up by the, by the parking lot, maybe. 
Then the talkers, well, geez, no one's going to come all the way up because they're down by the beach. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so grab a bulldozer, make a road go all the way down for that port of hiding by the beach. And now you're attracting every vehicle under the sun going all the way to the beach. So it's a no win situation. But I remember I walked it when they were first talking about yeah. it with, with somebody from either Fish and Wildlife or Franklin, and they were adamant about you wanted to keep it natural. Right. So, about the roads and scope going there, they were. They were not they were not having that at all but i think that it's absolutely important if it is recreational use no, I that we that that we somehow yeah, no, have two port be. potties or something like that yeah. for at least no doubt. you know the most active season and having some sort of you know agreement uh between agencies and say okay so this is the problem and we need to go ahead and find a common solution that the enemies, you know, all parties consider. And I think that at and, this and point- the sad part is if you just order four parties and now drop two in the parking lot, I don't think anyone in nice. any of those four deals would even notice or care as long as they were paying for it. <laughs> yeah. Right, and that was mentioned yeah, as well, yeah, is who's paying yeah. for it. Yeah, right. It's always about the dollar sign. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so, so I guess- not that expensive. I mean, well, I mean yeah, if you right. have it for three well, months of the you year, it it's eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. You get it pumped at say weekly or whatnot. I mean, it's oh. it's doable. It, I, I think the affordability aspect is something that the town is able to, uh, you know, provide if need be. But I think if the the who is the question, then that's something that is beyond my determination. The problem is this is the problem. This is what we have to do. Uh, so yeah. So right now, who's picking up the trash? Volunteers. Volunteers. Concerned citizens. Me, my husband. Girl Scouts. So these, Boy Scouts. So these pictures so this that is we personal have. for you. Oh yeah, it is. I live right across the street. Yeah, I walk wow. my dogs yeah. down yeah. there. I walk my kid down wow. there. It's no joke. I hate yeah. it. It makes me so yeah. upset. Yeah. Yeah. Makes me really mad, but I and, and I don't, you know, the, 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 the complaints <laughs> seem to be. I mean, once that meeting took place, we got even more complaints. So I mean, if residents are are not, so if trash is there, then people obviously are. They're not picking it up. Enough, it's enough fallen, not enough this is, volunteers. This is overwhelming the capacity for the volunteers to do it. I mean, maybe you, you should see how many day. people right right now. If you went, if you yeah. walked by there. The parking lot's full. There's people down Granado Circle, parked down Granado Circle. I will tell you, 80% of them do not live in Southwick. They don't give them a trip. <coughs> they throw their trash in the dirt little uh -huh. parking lot when they're leaving, and they're obviously doing whatever else they're doing right. on their way out. Do we have trash buckets there and stuff? No. Yes. Trash bins? There are there. There is a trash bin there, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's who, chained empty, up. who empties that? I don't know the answer oh, to that. Uh, that I don't know. The, the town, we, we've been setting the park and rec staff for oh. our maintenance to hit some of these, same with the boards and whatnot. Um, what's his name? He used to do it for years. Um, Dennis Clark. Dennis we really worked yeah. with us there all the time. Wow. Um, so, so they are getting empty. The problem okay, is, I mean, it's just so overwhelming. It's just too much. The girl scouts are coming on Monday, right? Yeah. Tuesday it's spotless. By right? Thursday yeah. it's destroyed. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it doesn't go away. And you saw the damage that is it it's being done to the trees. Uh, oh really? Oh yeah. What are they doing to the trees? natural habitat? Well, the yes. trees, I mean, you saw the photos. I mean, it's like as if something it's not an animal, unless you want to consider a human an animal. Uh I mean it it's it's something that's very concerning. And then I know that uh, what are they doing? Th there is cut off of like swinging ropes or whatnot. Um According what? What with the trees? Like, is the bark off of them, or? Yeah, like as if it was peeled, like Gouged. being hit repeatedly for some, and not like a beaver mark or anything like that. It's, it's, it's like being pounded on. We'll have to yeah. go down and look. Oh God. Yeah. Well, I have photos. I have photos. I don't know where. I... Oh, here. Right in front of me. Hmm. That's because I, the people who I so mind. adamantly wanted to preserve this land, I was in the sweaty auditorium when we stayed there for seven hours mm -hmm. to vote to preserve this land. Those are not the people that are leaving 
caca Absolutely. and trash right. in the parking yes. lots the, and are pounding that, trees right. and leaving yeah. needles and broken yeah. bottles and they're having fires and partying well, late at night clearly it's, clearly a, it it's was not, not people who yeah. were sweating it out six yeah. hours voting in and an i don't auditorium. think there's any problem of having porta potties there having a recycling bin having a trash bin i don't think there that is an issue well, i think people want those there because of the fact that okay we're going to put it there and of course you're going to have a certain percentage of individuals yeah, who are not going to be compliant yeah. but bringing, but if there bringing was readily, it there yeah again lowering the the barrier of entry and providing that kind of access you're going to see greater compliance uh and and providing that need that is clearly there but you know just looking at the the short term that's going to do something but I don't know what the long term impact so, yeah. of that is going to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there signage there also? There signage. is a sign there. And I know. Other than advertise, other than what is it, wild, what, something or other. But right. No, it was about like, anything about threat, like whatever you bring in, take out, anything like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it says, like, oh, be kind. Bring so people are accessing the beach for that, using it as a beach? Yes. They're swimming in the air. Going, yes. Yeah. See. But if they're swimming and they're they, falling up so on top. So that's, that's the tree you know, they park their that's boat. being damaged. Yeah, it's it's going to kill it. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it. it's someone whacking at it. Someone like taking oh, okay. a, trying to chop yeah. it down? Well, no, what just if, like hitting it with a shovel or some being stupid. Just somebody being stupid. Well, that's. Kill the tree. But, you know, again, that is. Can we save the tree? Can we put the tar on it or something? That, again, yeah, that's it's not, not, it's not, it's not in our purview. It's not going to work around, but it be. But there's other agencies involved in absolutely so and so that is to approach. that's to the commonwealth that's the forestry division with the best uh, practices and so they handle that matter and there's other land trusts uh, and even like franklin that have dealt with this before so this is not a new problem no. it's a new to us but other towns have you know especially like in, a, in hampshire county and stuff have, yeah. have done have dealt with this before so it's i just have I, different ways of dealing with it but yeah we, we have newly faced with this but it definitely has to be definitely has to so we can this. at least provide mitigation options right <clears throat> or suggest them yes but the but the problem is 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 the action component so yeah. we so everyone knows the problem yeah but the action mm -hmm. and the implementation the incorporation mm -hmm. of those suggestions are not happening yeah. and that that's the problem is how do we ensure that there is compliance and is there does there have to be an enforcement piece with that does there have to be a letter of non-compliance you know and it's it's at the point where something needs to happen uh at this time because i, I think it's been quite a bit of time tom and sue and kenzie joe three years four years but i don't think it's been this bad when it last until fairly recently it was uh, the last bad. two years it's been last pretty two bad years. Okay. So i just don't want this growing. exacturated any bit you yeah. know further at this time oh, absolutely not. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah so how should we go up about that have the meeting discuss it so keep reaching possible. out yeah I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to be i'd like to be at that meeting oh well. absolutely yeah. there's um, going to be a lot of town folk uh town officials there um and I'm going to send that to uh, the town administrator and to the select board as well. Um, yes, yeah, and uh, it's it's going to be it's going to be uh, something that is going to be uh, all hands on deck uh, kind of approach. A multi, you know, just togetherness. You know, a sense of collegiality and saying, okay, hey, we gotta we gotta protect our town. Well, for for a counterpoint, uh, we have. Uh, porta potties and the rail trail, and I wasn't hearing any complaints about those the way they're maintained. There's people throwing trash around, maybe a little bit, but the rail trail gets a lot of use too, and it doesn't seem to be the same kind of use. Where are they? Does that? Where are the porta potties on the rail trail? Well, we used to have one at the intersection of uh, 57. Okay. And there's one down by Condamine. And who, who and who maintains that? We park it right. So the town. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I mean, we've had it for years, and I, I don't recall having oh, okay. really big. It was. Oh, actually, owns those. Oh, 
Oh, the town, town manager. Oh, town manager. Yeah. bodies on the Westwood services. Yes, yeah, right. But so mm-hmm. I think the realtor point tells a little bit different than that. Well, that's the point. Wow. It's, so it's not it's not the fact that people are using them right. um, there and they're, they're, you know it, it, it's available. Right. But it's the there's misuse, no defecate. It's there's a misuse no of right. this of this land that we're trying to rectify. Right. And we want people to go ahead and use it, and not to okay. use it on the land. Uh, and and. Uh, it's just you gotta be kind of uh, what yeah. mm. borderline whatever it's fine last case scenario would i ever be like oh you know what this is what i want to do get a shovel yeah wow <laughs> i don't want people to do that either uh i i want but there to be compliance but, yeah, with dep and the state code uh as much as possible just to protect the community, uh, and that's the most important aspect. So, so. it's sixty-two acres. Sixty-two acres. More, yeah, yeah. And part of it they can hunt on. While people are walking on the other section, only during certain seasons. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, still. So I can write a request, <laughs> or the Board of Health can write a request to the state and ask for permission of having porta potties there as well. And if that is granted, then we can then see what's going on of who's going to pay the bill, I guess, in that regard. You could, well, let's have our meeting. They do have like composting sawdust, natural toilets, and you can put closer to the water so you don't need to build the road to get it out there. And but, that, but Tom, I mean, I, I don't think you could do that because that would be Consider like a, a privy or like a, a non conforming. Yeah, they again, it's early on when we're just when we're looking at this land. When I met back then, Spark and I were walking around with some of the fish and wildlife just several years ago. They were again, definitely against that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, but I mean, we know, but but things maybe things have things have changed. You know, I mean, that was the position then. There could be you know new administration, new people in that in the particular. Uh, state agencies that are maybe showing what's going on now that's like you know we're ruining the land it sounds like it sounds like the land right, is not, not contained. Is absolutely not, we're know, not preserving it. Being, right we're not preserving it's being abused for whatever reason and we have maybe maybe we need to change and attack a little differently than, than we did before do they just access it in one place or there are there other access places to access because not fenced off, it's one correct? point right? it's generally that one dirt parking lot yeah. that's why there's it's now cars yeah i was trying to look for other down. points of access too and i couldn't find unless there are other points of access that you know okay. just yeah. the water and that there you can get at it from suffield <laughs> from the connecticut side but you have to go through like neighborhoods okay which generally unless you live in those neighborhoods you're not parking there to get down to that beach area. So you're either getting at it from a boat or you're parking in that parking little dirt parking lot. Right All right, I'm like getting hangry. So yeah. can we wrap this up? Absolutely. Do we have anything more? Um, not at this time. All right. Um, public, Andrew, do you have anything to say? Anything you want to add? Never answers, does he? Who's Andrew? I'm not I sure. Don't know. I'm just being, oh. I'm just being polite. Ask him. Joe? I said too much. Huh. No, you, didn't, you didn't say too much. <laughs> no, you didn't say too much. <laughs> okay, so we're going to meet 615 Monday the 25th with the Slutman. And then our next meeting is August. I don't have a August calendar, but one. I think it's one. Is that Monday? No, Thursday. What is what? Uh, no, is that's it? August 4th. August 4th. Yeah. August 4th. Okay, I make a motion. Oh, yeah, August 1st. Is, is Did during the yeah. meeting at 7 40, I'm losing my voice. Okay. I will second that motion. Sue Rossby, yes. Mackenzie Kane, yes. Okay, Great. thank you very much.